Hello again, everybody. Twilight Prince 123, and yep, we're back for more Isle of Rebirth. Yeah, I honestly should be playing this a lot more than I have, so let's do a little extra long recording session this time. I believe last we were, we were at level 3. Getting started with it. Let's go. Corona Mines, north. Yeah, there's two entrances here. Actually, could use some bombs, thank you. Ah, yes. Fire mimics. Uh, be careful around these things. Yep. I say that and I still get hit. As for opening that, well... Beforehand, I actually uh, just forced my way through the lava to get to it, but I can just do that. Also, Kirby music. Yay! So, the gimmick of this dungeon is that you see these tracks along the ground? These are actually power lines, apparently. There are two different power sources that we have to get to, and thus, access, so that way we can... Oh yeah, fire bars too. <laughs> Same Mario, come on. But yeah, basically, there's two little power stations we have to get access to and activate, and then once we do that, then we can access the boss area. Of course, we also need the boss key. <laughs> See, there it is right there. Also, yes, introduce these guys. They're basically acting like dark nuts. So we can treat them like such. Okay, come here, Fire Mimic. Hey, look, I got a purple tunic! <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, there. Got the compass, so we need... Pretty much... We are pretty much already... Ooh, hi, Dodongo. It's not exactly the smartest way to take care of fire mimics, but... It's an effective way. A smarter way would be, of course... And I... Totally mistimed that. The smarter way would be to just take them out with arrows. Let's see what's up here. Oh, arrow. The uh, traps. Mm -hmm. uh, how did I do this? I think we just need to push all these. There we go. Easy enough. These early block puzzles are gonna not be too hard. There are some later ones I am absolutely going to dread, though. <laughs> oh boy. Also, I kind of like that being able to actually see the Triforce room before actually going into it. Nice touch. Oh, that was close. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem we can go this way. Oh, wait. Yes, we can. Ah, uh, it's one of these things. Just gonna watch your step. Easy does it. Easy does it. Aha! Ah, 
these are one of the devices I was talking about. This generator provides power to electrical devices in other parts of the mines. So, let's provide power. Or not. Instead, we'll just get a key. By this point, the, the length of the dungeons starts showing themselves. Some of the dungeons in this game can be a little bit long on your first playthrough. That's okay. I kinda like that. Okay, so we have a key. Let's see what we can do with it. So let's just let's go down from here. Wait for it. Yeah, I need to learn not to stand so close to these guys when I spin attack them. So these fire gels are really getting annoying. Ah, uh, so much fire. So much fire. Alright, that opens that. Uh, can't seem to do anything else here, so let's go back. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, we're doing the old turtle rock thing right there. Space, jeez. There we go. And that brings us to the south part of the mines now. So if we can't do anything here. Well, there is a locked door. We did just get a key. Oh. I was trying to take out all three with one strike, but... Unfortunately, with the way the exits and such are working, if I just F6 through here, then I'll uh, end up back at that entrance there. I don't think there's anything I can go that way just yet. So. <coughs> oh, Evan, you and your arsonist ways. Imagine that after this level, I'm pretty much going the rest of it blind. Well, mostly blind. <laughs> That's when the fun's gonna start. And by fun, I mean. Oh man, I'm gonna probably be in trouble. Okay.
Okay. I think after playing this a little bit, I can clearly see some of Evan's most favorite uh, video games. Like, for example, there's a lot of Mario and Luigi music in this so far, so... <laughs> Tell he's a fan of that. Okay, now I just gotta figure out how to get to the south entrance, which is right there. There we go. Just go down and around. Okay, back into the South Corona Mines. After a while, it won't really matter which, uh, which entrance we go in. And now, just bomb this. That opens this door. that down, go this way. Also, I might want to inform anybody who might be playing this along with me that Spike's... Oh. Okay, well, we have that in here. Anyway, uh, Spike's do ignore uh, your armor. So basically, if they're two hard Spike's, they will do two hearts of damage. I guess I gotta hit that crystal. Uh, not going this way. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back for this. Not going that way. Probably in Heroic Mud, I wouldn't be able to get by losing this much health, but... There's a key in here, but we'll need the dungeon's item to get it. If you haven't already guessed the dungeon's item, well... <laughs> I'm 
almost there. Almost there. I think I already opened this. <sighs> There's another one. Oh boy. get by there without getting hit. Oh well. Alright, enough of that roundabout stuff. Okay, so... That little shooting gallery thing. This is why I was a little hesitant to use my arrows earlier. I can lure them all down here, maybe. On the timing. Let's clear a few of them out for later. Come on. one alive. Whichever you are. More bombs. Don't really need. Think you put enough fire mimics in here, Evan? Jeez. Safe spots from that thing. Health. Health. Or not. I'm getting death. <laughs> I am so getting death, and I just realized I have still yet to find the map here. It's rather funny because I never did find the map on my original playthrough of this. Yeah. while we're back here, let's, uh, take a look here. Well, there's something here. Well, <laughs> well, there. <laughs> that answers that question. here.
only like two places here that you can actually be safe on that thing. Don't push your luck. Oh no you don't. I'm getting through this. Uh, of course there's spikes. Core 7 would put spikes here. rooms are a little bit too crowded. I do apologize if you can hear my brother in the background. He tends to get a little bit loud when he talks to other people on Skype. And I also apologize if I'm not being too talkative. I'm just trying to get th through this part without being freaking burned a... Ah, this... well, we already opened that, thank goodness. 
Yes. <laughs> what? I forgot what we did here. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to activate the power in order to access that bridge. <clears throat> that means we have to go through this. Do that. <laughs> what is this? Ring around the fire ring? <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. I'm playing on normal. I can afford to tank. A little. First of the power cores, I guess I'll just call them. Ow. She said thank goddess for that. Eh. Well, it kind of makes sense. You know. Now let's go down around. Whoa! Okay. Really? There we go. Let's go over here and, uh. Like this sucker. Money I don't need. Can't wait to find a bigger wallet. <laughs> uh, Evan? <laughs> yeah. Right then. There's your amusing sight for the day. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the first of the two main power cores done and done. Go back down and around this way. Uh, uh. Go back over here. Go across this. This is accessible. Which means we can get that. Not sure what that is, but if I remember correctly, I think this is the dungeon item. But unfortunately, we're going to have to go a long ways back around, although I think. No, we don't. We just go up this way. There it is, that's the hammer. You can 
use this to pound stakes or bludgeon armored enemies. Alright, and the hammer gotten, I'm going to uh, cut off this part of it and uh, start up another video in a moment, so I'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 